what's happening everyone welcome back to my channel the match day vlogs are back as we are going to our first international game in Club versus Greece I was yeah you guys know how I feel about how I feel about South Day this that the other and how I literally boycotted going to international games because I was like I'm tired of this guy managing England so Lee Carsley's here interim he's actually won something raised the standards as per se and yeah hopefully we get another win you know because we shouldn't even be in Nations League B but that absolute forge relegate put us in this position to bring him with anyway so it's one of them one of them really we should be winning every single game in this nation's league group but here goes greece might they do have some players bulldog unfortunately has died so black heart bands are going to be worn it's going to be a minute silence for sure and yeah i'll be on the ground in like most Let's say that forty five minutes will be there. So yeah. Alright everyone, we are at the ground right now. And I can't lie, where I'm sitting, the food's actually nice. For real, I can report yeah, being this high, I won't be able to see the players. But on second floor, this view is actually the like the view I'm playing for manager, but playing with but how I have the camera angle with book managers quite like sideline-ish but a bit high like around halfway up here so yeah I can't lie listen looking at the lineups here I'm like yeah Tarsley I'm gonna be watching you I like you but I'm gonna be watching you because I, I I'm like bro like Bro's gone with Palmer and Foden up front, like, are you being for real now? Like, you take, like, what happened to Kane? That's what it is, what happened to Kane? We've got Solanke there, but I'm thinking, yeah, nah. This is still beat Greece. I'm gonna say 2 0 England, but. First thing you came with me, cars for you. Come on, man, you can't be doing nonsense, bro. Yeah, we need to get back into Nations League A, play the top team. That's where it's at. The last manager got us in this game. Anyway, you know the one, so.
Tutto quello che ho detto è I could have slept and I, I wouldn't have missed a thing. But hey, this is what happens when you play Foden. I didn't even agree with him starting. But apparently, he gets a game just because he scored against Sovakins in the Champions League. Like, come on, man. Big man Ting, even I would have scored against Sovakins. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. Only Defra needs to come on still. Or even like, or Dom Dom. One of the two needs to come on, but I think I'll bring on Ollie Watkins. You know, the experience, but. Bit of FIFA 4 in the building. No, no one's there. Wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> Aye, no footage to see, yeah. No impressive footage to see still. But wow. hopefully, I grab some footage for the second half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Get everyone back in car. And that's how they scored. 
credit to Greece, yeah, they came with a game plan. But Lee Carsley, that's on him. That's on him. Sub Foden. Why did this guy have seven? Yeah. Well done to Greece. Now we gotta beat them in Greece, bro. We gotta beat them in Greece. Next month, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, we got Finland away on Sunday. Oh boy, the day lost to I. Yeah, man. I'm telling. You. This might be England's level. If they don't step up these performances, I'm telling you. Because you know what it is? Imagine if we played a top team. These men would have been eaten alive. Defensive mistakes at the back. Calamities. Absolutely shocking at the back. The amount of times Trey got spun, bro. The amount of times this guy got spun. And the worst thing, Foden today did absolutely nothing. Rico Lewis playing left back when he's natural right back. Why would he? This guy, nah. This is what happens when he plays these 115 guys, bro. That's what I'm saying. Greece have beaten England for the first time ever. Like, what the fuck? Now it's pressure on us now. It's pressure on us. Should have been home and dry. But, nah. It's always the hard way with England now. Nah, man. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. Karsley is not getting this job on a permanent basis. It is what it is. I think they need a proper manager in. Because, let's be honest, he, he decided to experiment against Greece, a team that has won two out of two. You decide to go strikerless. You get me? Finland, probably understandable. But you decide to do it against Greece. And I knew it would backfire. Foden, Bellingham and Palmer cannot play at the same time because these guys, these guys take up the same positions. You know what I'm saying? Rico Lewis was absolutely diabolical. This guy, absolutely. Oh, mate. This is what I've been saying about these 115 guys. This is, Pep is literally the man that is making them tick because without Pep, these 115 guys are honestly trash, bro. Trash ball. Rico Lewis, Phil Foden did absolutely nothing. Dog wank, bro. That's what it is. That's what I can describe about him. And now my star boy is gonna be injured. Ain't you gonna see him Sunday? Whoa, bro, man, stressed already, bro. Yeah, man. Now I gotta get out of here yeah? and get back home. Flip here, neck, man. I look at the grease man having a party. Listen, you man party, bro. You hear me? You man party. Party hard, man. You lot deserve it still. England, we just weren't up to the races, man. You know what I'm saying? Oi. Absolute jolting, man. Look hell, man. Oh. Imagine, yeah. I walked into a car park full of coaches and cars and I'm like mate um what am I doing this is what I'm saying I think I found a way to go home because boy I'm going straight home man I like I'm already tired enough as it is like imagine I take my time off to actually go to the stadium like don't get me wrong yeah. Greece they did their thing I just felt like yeah this is what happens when you miss chances, when you're not clinical in the final third, it's exactly what happens. And now we leave ourselves with a lot to do. Finland, yeah, arguably they are going to win. <laughs> but you know, the funny thing is we actually need some help now from Ireland against Greece. I don't think we're going to get the help, mate. Imagine, imagine we're looking for help before we go travel to Greece away it's crazy because now we got to travel to Greece away and actually beat them avenge the loss at home it ain't gonna be easy ain't gonna be a walkover that's what I'm saying need to play with strikers so if Kane's not there we have to play a striker we should have started at least one striker 
Ollie Watkins, if Ollie Watkins played, probably would have been a different game. You know what I'm saying? But him, oh, we kept on doing the same, same, same thing. Especially with the corners, near post tax didn't work. Central didn't work. Far post, we, we only went far post as soon as we got strikers on. Like generally, I couldn't believe my eyes. Even when we went short, didn't work because guess what? Greece have imposing defenders. So it was, so it was like when we was crossing, we was like, yep, easy, easy meat for them. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, we just we just have to learn from this and just move on. Just move on, and hopefully England can get promoted back to Nations League game because that's what it is. That's what it's going to take. Yeah, we need to win every single game now. You know what I mean? But yeah, subscribe, like, peace. I'm gonna find my way home now. I'm saying, but.